The Invisible Train, a collaborative augmented reality game for mobile devices. Augmented reality is a new form of interaction between humans and technology in which computer-generated text, sound and graphics are seamlessly combined with physical reality. We have devised a component-based software architecture to accelerate the task of developing and deploying infrastructure-independent collaborative augmented reality applications on handheld devices. The Invisible Train is an interactive multiplayer augmented reality game installation in which camera-equipped PDAs are used to control virtual trains on a real wooden miniature railroad track. These virtual trains are only visible to players through their PDA's video see-through display, since they do not exist in the physical world. This type of user interface is commonly called the magic lens metaphor. A computer vision algorithm makes use of the black and white patterns on top of the game board to correctly position the virtual trains onto the physical scene. The graphical augmentations are rendered with a custom OpenGL compatible graphics library that was specifically developed for handheld devices. Players can adjust the speed of their virtual trains and are able to influence their paths by operating track switches. Both actions are triggered by tapping on the PDA's touch screen. Here we can see a typical game in progress, which is shown from the player's perspective. During the game, application state is continuously synchronized between all participants via wireless networking. The Invisible Train's underlying software architecture requires no external servers or supporting infrastructure. Everything is computed locally on each PDA. For the first time, deployment of a lightweight mobile augmented reality system to large numbers of untrained users has become possible in settings other than constrained laboratory environments. In this sense, the invisible train is a first and important step towards making massively multi-user augmented reality accessible to the general public.